The cranes are not the only migratory birds to stop over in Via Fafila. At the end of September, the lagoons are invaded by another great migratory bird, the grey lag goose, also known as the wild goose. For several days, the skies are covered by infinite numbers of flocks on their way to the marshes of the Guadalquivir River near the south coast of the Iberian Peninsula. More than 70,000 geese cleave the skies on their way to their winter quarters. Many of them stop off in the Via Fafila wetlands. Like the crane, the grey-legged goose never spent the winter in these lagoons. But in 1975, something changed. That year, a flock of 1,000 geese did not continue their journey south. The following year, the phenomenon was repeated, and six years later, the winter population of Via Fafila was over 23,000. Geese choose their mate when they are three or four years old, and they become mates for life. The bond between them is so strong that when one of them dies, the other rejects the company of the group and often ends up as an outsider. Thousands of geese invade the arable lands to feed on the cereals that have sprouted after the summer. A close relation, the bean goose has joined them. These birds are very rare and are in retreat. Some Central European countries, where they also spend the winter, have taken measures to protect them. These territories are much closer to their breeding grounds, and more and more birds every year decide to stay there instead of continuing their journey south. Cranes and geese are two opposing sides of the same coin. In both cases, the action of man on their habitat has had a crucial effect on their population levels. The geese have benefited from protective measures and from the recovery of their habitats, whereas the cranes have had to suffer the destruction of theirs. The protection and recovery of these salt flats has not only benefited the geese, all the species that visit or live in the wetlands have seen their living conditions improve. Plant life has extended and there is an abundance of aquatic fauna. The birds find good places to shelter and a plentiful supply of food. Many populations which were in retreat have recovered and this in turn has benefited the great predator of the Spanish mountains, the wolf. When winter arrives, snow covers the mountains and the wolves go down to the valleys and lower areas. Hunting is becoming more and more difficult so the presence of large concentration of birds provides a perfect opportunity to find food. Some prey fly away quickly, while others look for protection in the vegetation. This mistake will cost them their lives. <laughs> 